Rogers. Now, there was some times in this fight, guys, where I was thinking, get up. Don't follow her to the mat because you saw she was almost in a very tight arm bar. She was in Alma Plata a couple times. She felt comfortable enough that she didn't want to lose the wrestling exchanges and those uh, opportunities on the ground. But being sweaty, being bloody, she felt safe enough not to get submitted. I also believe that she was taking her down because Juliana is so awkward on her feet. And she probably has, like, deceptive power. Because every time she hit Amanda, Amanda had a rea reaction like, uh-oh, wait a minute. I don't know if I really want to take many of these. So And she's so awkward. She, she was able to catch her with some shots. So I think Amanda was like, you know what? Maybe it's safer to just get her off of her feet I, and be on top of her. I got to tell you, though, I was shocked with the takedown in the third round. When the second round, she knocked uh, uh, Juliana, rather, down yes. three times. Three knockdowns. One of them knocked her after. off of her feet. Yes. Never happened. To, you know, it's the only girl to ever do that. Three knockdowns in one round or one fight, rather. Um, but then the third round is when she shifted gears, right? She said, enough with the stand-up. I'm comfortable in the grappling. And from there, third, fourth, fifth round, it was the dominance on top this fight that got her the win. Yeah, again, she was highly motivated, not just to regain her double champ status, but also become just the third woman ever in UFC history to regain a title after losing it. And she's the first woman to do it at 135 pounds. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.